For trainee midwives, it's crucial to learn what to do when faced with labour problems such as shoulder dystocia or breach. Model Med manufactures realistic models of mother and baby for training in a wide range of situations and has even been credited with saving lives. Sandy Kay reports. Some 353,000 babies are born every single day around the world. Many are born in hospitals just like this one without a hitch, but unfortunately some still undergo serious complications during labour. When things do go wrong, it's the practised women's health practitioner who can really make a difference. And there's nothing better for those experts to practise on than model med models. Our models offer women's health practitioners the most realistic experience with things like shoulder dystocia, breech birth and cephalic birth. We use proprietary materials that are unlike anything else anyone uses. Mike Logan's interest in producing realistic obstetric and gynaecological demonstration models grew after years of working in television and motion picture special effects. At the time, the talented graphic designer was renowned for making incredibly lifelike figures for TV shows such as the UK's Spitting Image, as well as for a variety of film productions where animals and giant whales became his lifeblood. Thirteen years ago, Mike decided to turn his attention to the medical industry that he hoped could benefit from his vast experience. When told by his doctor that the fields of obstetrics and gynaecology use totally unsatisfactory training methods, he knew just what to do. I made a number of different prototype models and I took them to the major teaching hospitals in Melbourne. And the people who ran those teaching hospitals, they told me, this is, this is great, you're on the right track. And so they were able to help direct me in the correct direction of what I needed to make. The original design came with a lot of help from my mother who was a midwife and she was a, what we called an old bush midwife so she was delivering babies in the bush in Australia. Um, I got a lot of her old books and started looking at them, looking at the diagrams, looking at the photos and starting to make sense of the process of childbirth and then translating that into how are we going to make a model that does all the things they're talking about in the books. Just a little more and now breathe, 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 come on. I came to be acquainted with this model after I had already been working for eight years as a labour and delivery nurse in the US and as a midwife here in Australia. And it just really feels, coming from reality to this, it's the next best thing. It's really the resistance of the baby's limbs when you're trying to do maneuvers, for instance, to coax a breech baby out, or if you're trying to get a shoulder dystocia. It just is very, very close to reality, and it gives you really the chance to practice on dry runs where there's no risk of a baby being um, coming, getting distressed or anything that you can practice as often as you need to, backtrack if you need to, and you really feel like you can handle the real thing. In the past, midwives like Barbara had to train on soft, pliable, plastic-headed rag dolls. Unlike real babies, there's no labour force to practice with, and the models could be rolled up at the arms and legs to allow the trainee to simulate a successful birth. Barbara believes the model med models that can only be handled as you would a human baby because of the fully articulated metal skeleton enhances skills and equips midwives with a useful muscle memory to better deal with complications. I think students are better prepared when you work on a more lifelike realistic model to really be able to cope with the complexity of the actual situation. You've got to, you're fighting down your own adrenaline. Midwife Jane Tyres agrees. I think it's, it's very important for a midwife or obstetrician to have a realistic baby. It means you get to practice uh, your basic manoeuvres and get your skills up without practising on a real person. We have instructors telling us that where before, for example, they had a shoulder dystocia, there was panic. Now, after repeated practice on our models, they now are not surprised. It's a military precision drill. They know the moves. 
nobody panics. Created with the latest laser and 3D scanning technologies, the models feature no wires, software or batteries, so they can be used in the most remote of locations. Our customers give us very positive feedback. We sell to often underdeveloped countries. I feel good working in such an environment and you feel that you're contributing with your work. We want mum to be safer, we want baby to be safer, and if we do that, we also help families. I feel satisfied by it. It's a good thing to do.